Jason Hayward in the air. Slicing into foul territory. Hector Gomez, look out. Oh my Goodness. gosh, Gomez. Nobody there to catch him. He went crashing into the seats, and I think he's hurt. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't look good. I mean, crashing right into the grandstands, into the seats, and. Goodness gracious, what an effort, though. Yesterday, the Brewers had three players go into the stands, and there were bodies there. There were fans there to catch him and brace him, but this time, Gomez, he went right in the aisle. Very scary situation here for Hector Gomez. Yeah, that's the problem when you have those low walls around the uh, perimeter of the field, and really, it's about knee high, and really, no way you can really protect yourself once you. Carlos Gomez is over there to to help translate. The Brewers' athletic trainers are pretty much went face first into the seats. Those plastic seats, and we're telling what happened to Hector. Good news, he's up. Well, he is a guy that shows up every day with a smile on his face, loves every day in the major leagues, loves playing this game. He plays hard, too, and good indication there of. How he thinks about the game and how he goes after it every single day. Let's just hope he's all right. He tried to slow down, but you know that low wall you know, in front of the grandstands there clipped him right at the knees, and he went flying. Well, it's great to see him standing up, man. Back of the neck going through the concussion protocol. Oh man, it just the way he bowed over that yeah. that short wall there just clipped him. Yep. Went face first right into the seats there. Mm -hmm. It could have been uh, a lot worse than it appears that he got it. Looked like he went into the aisle actually, more than hitting directly onto the seats. That's athletic trainer Dave Yeager taking him through the concussion protocol, I would guess, and I think he's all right. I'm not sure if he's going to stay or not, but he's. Moving around under his own power here, and they're going to go ahead and take him out of the game. Look at the, he's got a bit of a knot. Yeah. On the cheek, it looks like, and or on the uh, top of the head. Brewers do have Luis Sardinas available to play third. You can move Perez over there. It's a great effort. You appreciate that in a 7 2 game. Playing it one way, 100%. Yeah. Sophia's down there. She'll try to get a report to us as soon as they make it available. 